research, which influence of DNSSEC deployment on public policy issues? What? Uh, uh, because uh, in, in some countries, it's a legal issue. Maybe you could uh, add a little more. Um, it's enough, because cryptographic algorithms that used and proposed to use in uh, uh, DNSSEC not allowed by Russian laws. For example, I, don't, I think it could be in the, some countries too. I, it's I just an example. I, 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 think, I think I understand. Well, um, you, when you say public policy, it's a very large um, uh, term, and so that I ask you to say more. With respect to the choice of algorithms, uh, now that touches on what's typically called uh, cryptographic uh, export uh, policy. Um, the DNSSEC uses a, uh, the cryptographic technology for signing, uh, which is an authentication technology. It does not uh, hide any information. There's no encryption uh, for secrecy. The export rules uh, t around the world typically are uh, much more concerned about uh, hiding information and about uh, what, what algorithms are used for that and are much less concerned about uh, the strength of authentication technologies. I can explain because it's not allowed for government organizations in the country uh, to use this algorithm. It's not a problem of expert. Yeah, it's, I, I appreciate. Um, well, I can't speak authoritatively about inventory, of course, uh, but in general, my, my understanding is that uh, the use of signature technology is uh, either within a country or in terms of exporting it either way um, is considerably less sensitive because uh, it does not interfere with the kind of uh, intelligence operations or um, other state activities that typically are involved in those kind of public policy questions. Thank you. Thank you, and thanks to the panel and to you who have been here. Thank you very much. Session's over.